Hey, 4 by E fans, welcome to the channel. Hey, I wanted to chat a minute about what is happening in the 4 by E world right now. If you haven't heard, the NHTSA has launched, a, I guess, an inquiry, an investigation, I don't know what you want to call it, into Jeep's fix of the lost of motive, loss of motive power issue that was occurring back in 2022. And uh, this was early on in the uh, 4xe, and this, I don't know that this impacted the Grand Cherokees. If this was just a Wrangler issue, I mean, the, I guess the Grand Cherokees, there weren't very many of them on the road at the time, but one thing we haven't heard in the uh, 4xe community too much is that the Grand Cherokees are having this issue. And correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. If you've had a Grand Cherokee that has had this issue, correct me down below. Um, I, I try my best to, uh, to kind of keep tabs on what's going on in the 4xE community through the uh, Jeep 4xE fans Facebook group. But, uh, you know, not always the best at it. So, uh, but what this loss of motive power is, is it's almost like the system kind of gets confused at some point and kind of shuts down. And it happens to people, they'll be on the highway when it happens. I mean, I've, several people that I've heard from, they were on the highway and uh, there was something that goes on that the whole system just shuts down. I mean, no warning, no nothing, just drops power. And so in 2022, Jeep released an update for that. And even up until recent months, we still see occasional posts from people in the 4xE fans group talking about how they were driving along and the thing just shut down. And we were wondering, you know, there's several of us that kind of have offline conversations about all these things. And what several of us are wondering, like, is, was the update done well? You know, that's the first question. Did they do it right? And secondly, are the, when, when the vehicles go in for the recall, we have seen in the past where some software updates don't take, you know, they're, they're either, I don't know if it's done incorrectly by the technician at the dealership or if it's just the process itself that's an issue. You know, I don't know. Who knows what that, where that issue is, but we've still, we're still seeing people that are driving along and having a loss of motive power. And these are not 22 and 21 Jeeps. These are 23 and, and later Jeeps that are having that issue. So you would think anything released after that recall would have that updated software in the most recent everything and wouldn't have that issue but um and and people that have had that experience there have been some of them that have even said yeah i got that loss of motive power recall back in 2022 and yet i still experienced that situation now, i personally have never had it i i don't know i don't understand it and and it doesn't seem to be really widespread so it's kind of curious that it's still going on but the NHTSA has announced that they're looking into that because obviously there are still cases happening even after that that recall occurred so um, if you have had that loss of motive power and I would like to see in the comments below like what year it is and if you went through the recall and then still had that loss of motive power uh, you know, it's just kind of be interesting to hear from the community and see like who has had the recall and had the issue still and what year, what model year those vehicles are. So uh, we'll have to uh, keep keep uh, watching out for the updates from the NHTSA and see uh, what comes of that. If there will be a, a yet another <laughs> recall on the Wrangler 4xE, that would stink, wouldn't it? But um, they certainly need to get to the bottom of that because though, no, though nobody has been hurt or anything, that could be a pretty dangerous situation. Um, you know, one one person, I, I just have a distinct memory of this one person saying, you know, they were in the, they weren't in the right most lane on the highway, but they were in the lane, one lane over, and it completely shut down in the midst of a bunch of traffic and a, and a higher speed. And it was everything she could do to get the vehicle over through that right lane and get over to the shoulder before it just completely shut down in the middle of the road. So uh, it it could be a dangerous situation. So uh, we will, I will hopefully have an update in the future when the NHTSA finds something and we'll see if this leads to another recall for that loss of motor power issue. Thanks for watching.